back. <laughs> Part two. Sorry about that, guys. I had a little um, surprise visitor there for a wee minute. And I just took the opportunity to get a fresh cup of coffee. Right, let's shut this laptop down. Let's find the live again. Second time lucky. Okay. Right, live again. Brilliant. Testing, testing. Right. Let's see. Now, what's happening with this? Mm -hmm. Who's here? Hi again. <laughs> oh, how are you doing, honey? Right, I'm back. Where was I? Right, okay. So back to making little panels for the card. Measure one and a quarter by three. Oh my goodness. So one and a quarter. Let's do another one here. One and a quarter. How are you now? <laughs> by three. And this is good because it's six by six. So you're going to get quite a few wee strips out of this. Don't need to be perfect. Hi, Jill. How are you? Nice to see you. I'm not usually on Facebook, but I'm um, on YouTube Live, but I'm glad I've decided to today. Right, okay. So, we are just making some thank you cards. Showing how gorgeous these um, papers are, which is the Lighter Than Air suite. And these are Lighter Than Air designer series paper right so let's see what other piece can i put on do, 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 do. i think i need another piece of this so let me cut it down to three so i'm just kind of making this up as a go your cat mabel is watching too brilliant i hope you didn't hear get fright when my doggies were barking earlier um it was just my son coming in from his work with his Uncle Mark, because his Uncle Mark has him on an apprenticeship with him. So they had to, he had to chat to me about something, so that's fine. Right, okay, we'll have more little bits. Okay, dog, let's do this. We're gonna do that one like that. Okay, so we'll just stick them down. I'm gonna use this one as a wee guide. Now, there seems to be a bit of a lag um, with what I'm doing and what's shown on the screen. So, I'm just using this other little card just as a rough guide. I mean, these don't need to be positioned um, perfectly or anything. What time is it in Ohio, Jill? Is it night time there? Is it early morning? At the minute, it is 20 to 3 in the afternoon here in the UK. And again, apologize, apologies um, if my little float goes all funny. <laughs> right, now I'm going to use these little shorter scraps as well. Because we wouldn't want to waste them, would we? Is that one or two pieces there? It's one. Right, okay. These are all the same width. So I'm just going to mix and match. Um, what else can we put on here? I've got this little scrap here. Let me cut that down to three inches. 9.45 a.m. On a Friday or are you on Saturday already? I think you'll be behind us, aren't you? Yeah, I think it's um, the South Pacific that's, um, what's the word? Ahead of us. Right, let's see. Yeah, that'll do. Let's just pop them on. Let's just pop them on. Such a colourful sweet, this. I try to say to myself, I'm going to start making sure that I use, 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 use up my sweets. As much as I can, showcase it off. Show you guys some ideas. And then move on to the next sweet. It is, I tell you what, it's getting really chilly here in Scotland. I don't even know what degrees it is, but my heating's been on all day. 
and it is just, I think it's maybe about 7 degrees or something Celsius. So what I might do is I might just put my little fire on. So I'll put my little air fat fryer on at the back of me just for a little bit. Right, so here's three little layouts. Um, what can we do with this one now? You see, there's just so much, so much that you can do with all your little scrappy pieces. And they really are just gorgeous. Right, okay, let's put, let's put that one across there and cut it down. Oh, is it chilly where you are as well, honey? Oh, yeah, stop draining. We've had quite a bit of rain. So my husband, he's away out um, over to the park. They're doing some work over at the local football team ground. Um, I made a pot of soup this morning and I took it over to them at lunchtime. What a way to spend your last day off of the day job. <laughs> right, I am just going to mix and match these as I wish. I just love this one. This is one of my favourites. And you can pan all these up any old way you want. So I might pop that there. Oops. Like so, just overlap it a little bit. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, will I use a punch now? So I'll pull out my retired little circle punches. So we've got a little half inch one, we've got an inch one. I'm just going to punch out some shapes. Oh, there's lots of flooding, oh wow. There's quite bad flooding in a, a, one of the towns in our region recently as well. Um, it's been on the news and everything's such a shame. Right, this one's just going to be mix and match and made up as you go. Flood risk's just horrible, isn't it? Oh, right, let's see. Let's punch out a little circle from here. These are just beautiful. Look how fun that is. Right, I think I need some solid colour. So let's just use that. These punches are amazing, Joanna, aren't they? It's just a good way to um, just mix it up, basically. Right, lemon lolly. Do I have a scrap of this in here? Yes, I do. Let's pull that out. And what you can do as well is sometimes I'll do a little half circle like that. And I'll just pop it on the side. It's quite good. Quite good. Right, I think one more yellow lemon lolly. Right, let's get these popped together. Okay, so I am going to... I'm going to cut off a little tiny bit of this one. Stick it on this side. I like this kind of crafting that you just make it up as you go. <laughs> wing it, wing it, wing it. Now, I'm going to stick these down flush, but I will say that it is nice to add different layers and things like that. And you can tuck little bits under and what have you. And I'll put this one down here. In fact, it'll overlap that little gap because that gap's actually annoying me now. Okay. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I did have to cut my extent nail extensions down, so they're looking a bit dodgy at the minute. Um, but it was getting to the point I couldn't even pick anything up, so... Right, so I'm just going to over overlap that one. And I'm going to put the cloud... Mm, I'll just pop the cloud down there. I know it's not meant to be down that far, but hey-ho. Hey-ho, hey-ho, hey-ho. This one in the corner. And this one. Hmm, where should I put this one? You know what, I think I'll cut it in half. And I'll just stick it on here. See how easy it is just to mix and match. 
Uh, this one, I think I'll pop down here. So lots of different shapes and layers. Right, okay, what can I do with this one? Hmm, decisions. Should I do a big panel on it? So I have, no, I don't want to do that one. Let me get a bit of designer series paper. All right, let me use that. So the panel, if it's a quarter of an inch, I'm going to do, I'm going to do three by four and three quarters or four and a half. Let me do four and a half, what the hang. I'm just making it up. So I'm going to pop that on there. Ooh, I like it. This one, I am going to ruffle up a little bit. Hi, Shaz, welcome back. These remind me of ice cream colours. Oh, they do. And we've got a lovely ice cream suite in um, this new catalogue as well that would complement this perfectly. Because when we've got a collection, you, you can buy all the items together or you can buy them separately. So if you wanted to buy, say, an ice cream stamp set, you could opt just to buy this paper on its own. So um, it is good. Right, so I've just kind of roughed up the edges of this one. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of wind around the edges like so. Now these uh, will flatten a bit once I put it in an envelope, but it's okay. Because once it's out, people will see what I was trying to do. Right, more wet glue. I'm really enjoying making cards with different layers and textures. All right, so that's one there. So we have a ruffled panel with three of those. And I need one more because my goal is to make six. So let's see now. What I could do with this one is use coordinating colors for the little panels. So let's use lemon lolly. Quite fancy a bit of Tahitian Tide. And I think the next colour I will do is, um, I'll use this bubble bath. So let's cut these down to one and a half by three. Oh yeah, demo two, oh brilliant, brilliant. It's a wonderful, wonderful world just stamping up. Da, 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 da. I shouldn't really try and sing on these lives because my throat is the pot. Um, right, I think, yep. So panels that measure one and a quarter by three. And we need three of those. And I'm just chucking my scraps to the side. I will um, collect them all later and put them in a little, put them in my little box. Um, and Joanna said, I've just had my nails done today at point of catching them and everything. <laughs> oh, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. So where is everyone from then? As you know, I'm up in Scotland. All right, these, you be very careful if you're doing this. I'm going to ruffle up the edges as well. It will make a little bit of dustiness on your desk. You'll need to show me a picture of your nails on Facebook. Oh, there's five of you watching. That's amazing. Thank you. And sorry I had to stop the first introduction video quick. I should really put a sign up saying, Filming in progress. Do not enter. <laughs> the one time that I do have time to film and I just can't get peace. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'm so glad it's Friday. I've got my live on name. Um, oh, you're near, you're near Cambridge. Nice. So you're quite near to our upline Sam then, aren't you? Or she... Oh, I can't remember if she's Cambridge, actually. Oh, South Devon. Nice. The other end of the country. A wee down far. At the warmer part. <laughs> right. 
So little rough and ready panels going on. Yeah, I have a live on tomorrow morning, I think. I'm not sure what I'm going to do or, um, or not. I will need to see how I feel. If I have a rough night tonight with my sore chest, I might just, um, I might just give it a miss tomorrow, but we shall see. Oh, don't forget, people, I have, let me show you. There is my trail. Forgot to put it on. For those that watch, uh, watch me on Facebook, I've got this lovely um, unravelling little box with drawers. It's a free tutorial over on my website at smithscraftycreations.com. And if you go to free card making tutorial tab, you'll get a free PDF to print off and try it. So I did make two. Um, there's lots of wiggle, well, not lots of wiggle room, but enough wiggle room that um, if you're slightly out, it's still going to work. So um, I wasn't being too pernickety about it being flush, flush, flush. But do help yourself. And if you do meet one, I'd love to see your take on it. That would be nice. Right, okay, so. We have one, two, three, four, five, six different cards. Now, I'm going to get my vellum now. And watch this, I won't be able to find it, I bet. I did have it the other day. Mm -hmm. Right, Trisha, I think. Where did you put it? <laughs> I did tidy up, you see, guys. I tidied up and then, of course, um, I couldn't blame and find it. I did um, end up finding a scrap. Uh, nope, that's stuff that's retired now that I need to sort out. So it's not that box, Trisha. Oh, you're so kind. Hi, Tammy. Honey, how are you? Is it this box? No, that's my DS. That's my 12 by 12 papers in that box. Just give me a second, guys. I'm just trying to find the vellum. Oh, and that's um, folders. What the hell? Have I done with it then? Trisha's tidied up so much that Trisha can't find it. Right, it's got to be right beside me. It's got to be, because I use it a lot. I use it a lot. Tammy, have you any idea of what i done with my vellum? <laughs> have you just sat down with a cup of brilliant, which reminds me I have a coffee sitting. Hmm, that's a bit annoying, I can't find the vellum. I think what throws me off is because the vellum is in an A4 folder. Oh, it gets red, no it's not, that's not it. I normally have my vellum sitting right next to my white cardstock. Just more as a prompt to use it more. And I don't. So I don't know where it is. I'll try and find a little scrap piece though. So that I can use a little bit in the projects. Okay. Let's see. What's also nice is a little change. If you fancy it. Is using window sheet some window sheet acetate um on your projects as well i done something like that the other week and it turned out quite nice actually or maybe it was last month oh it's really bugging me now really 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 bugging me hmm okay so i think it's i think it's decided just to um stay hidden but as you can see the vellum does look um really nice in the background so you can see, see it here. Okay. Right, I thought it was organised, but I'm obviously not. And I'm still looking for it as I'm chatting because I'm really getting annoyed I can't find it. Oh, dear me, ladies. Dear me, ladies and gentlemen. So tell me all, what have you been up to today? Today is the last day of my holidays for my day job. I have been catching up on my stamping up for a few days now. Um, mainly with the new catalogue launch, etc. No, it's definitely walkies. It's definitely went walkies. Never mind. I'll still I'll still uh, make nice little cards. Right, so we have 
I have a little pouch here that's got little scrappy pieces. This is excess bits from some cards that I'd done the last time. Okay. Oh, look, a little tiny bit of vellum. That's not going to stick it, though. Um, which part of Scotland? I'm based in Fife. Um, so Fife is the region where St Andrews is. Uh, that's probably the most popular town that you've maybe heard of. It's across the bridge from Edinburgh as well. Uh, Tammy's been laundry, scrapbooking, stitching, undercoat in the lounge and dining area. Oh my goodness. You've been busy, busy, busy. Busy, busy. Right, this is one of the dies that you can stamp on and it goes inside. Let me see now. It goes, you could put it across your balloon. You can stamp on it because there's coordinating patterns and things, but you could also double it up if you wanted an extra layer on the sentiment one. So that's the sentiment die, and you could pop that on there. You could even use that and put a lighter coloured um, piece of designer series paper and then stamp on that. Tammy's been up since five. Oh my goodness. That's no good. I was like that the other day. I was up really early. Shaz has been to St Andrews. It's a beautiful, beautiful town, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. Right, so uh, the only pieces in here that I'll maybe use is uh, the clouds and a couple of the labels, possibly. I'm, what is a good idea, and I did do it with this bundle, is I just um, ran through some white um, die cuts using the dies. Um, and I thought any extra I will just pop aside and then when I'm doing projects such as this, there's another piece of vellum, um, I could quite easily just grab and go kind of thing. So, let me see now. If I just scoop these up now and put them back in that little bag and then I just file this away. There's the other little bits that match. I just file these away with, with the goodies. I'll keep the lemon lolly out. I might stamp in that. Um, Joanna fell asleep at six and woke at night. Oh my, that is an all nighter. Wow. The thing is, once you get into that pattern of not sleeping very good, it's really hard to get out of, isn't it? Really, really hard. Right, so. Let me just tidy a little. Okay, so. This little heart die is amazing. It fits inside the balloon, the bigger balloon. It's also good to use on other projects. And the sample that's in the catalogue, I think it's the heart they've used and they've die cut it out, scored it in the middle and then made the 3D, I don't know if you can see that good, made the 3D balloon there. It's just wonderful. Sometimes when you get a lot of bits in with the dies, etc., it kind of gets overwhelming. Um, particularly for me anyway. So um, that's how I thought, you know what, I'll just run it all through the die cutting machine this, um, that we've got and then I'll just have wee supplies there. Um, oh no, you've got that nasty thing. There's definitely something going about because my chest has been um, on and off annoying me for a few weeks, I think since before Christmas. And then on Boxing Day, um, no, it was the day after New Year's Day, um, my voice went, and you can still hear the hoarseness, the coarseness in my voice, not the hoarseness. <laughs> um, and I've got the sore head. Have you got like a sore head across the front of your forehead, um, Shaz? Because it's just, it's really sore. Oh, it's this time of year. Why can't the bugs just leave us alone? Don't they know we've got too much crafting to do? Far too much crafting. Right, okay, so I think what I'll do now is I will stamp some um, of our wonderful images from the stamp set. Now, again, I've got lots of scrap pieces at the ready. And I've got the stamp set here, so I'll just move my cards out the way for a second. I'll move those little elements to the side, she says, and we will stamp some balloons. 
So I think it, look, it does look quite nice when you've got a bigger balloon on its own. So this balloon is stamped and then we've got one of the wee die cut pieces. So I might actually be able to use um, this today. And then you can just stamp and fussy cut or die cut out um, smaller balloons. So they're really sweet as well. This is a little heart, but it's not from this die set. This is the heart from the Bumblebee Punch. Um, again, it shows how you can just mix and match everything up. Look at this wee darling. So I might keep that out, actually. And these are fuzzy cut out from the actual designer series paper. I like to put it on with this little um, overlap bit. I just part punched and then stamped on it. I hope everybody starts to feel better soon. I'm back at work on Monday and guaranteed... I guarantee I'll be back to normal, but um, gotta go. Oh, enjoy your day, Tammy. Rest up, honey. Uh, Shazu's gonna be there. They're letting me home for my birthday weekend. Oh dear, and your ops cancelled now. Oh, that's not so good. That's not so good. Right, let's stamp. I think if we do three big ones. Now, we might not get all, all, all the cards finished today. Um, but we'll certainly come back on and do some more. Right, so let's go with a big, bold Tahitian Tide balloon. So dab, dab, dab. Pop it on. We've got little stamps that, um, for the little basket underneath as well. Uh, I think I'll do two of those. And it doesn't matter how I'm stamping because, I, I, like I say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fussy cut them out. All right, let's get a little chamois. It's just awful when you don't, you don't feel yourself. Your mind has so much it wants to do and your body just says no. And it's really hard um, to actually listen to your body. But we've got to do it. We've got to do it. Right, I am going to stamp Bubble Bath in the middle of one of these and then Lemon Lolly in the other. So I'm going to use this, this stamp, which is this one here, because it's quite nice. So let's see, Bubble Bath. Yeah, lots of healing vibes, ladies. Lots of healing vibes. Right, okay, so... This is a nice discreet colour. Let me stand up. Hope I stamp it straight. It's just I'm at a funny angle. <gasps> love it. Oh, love it, love it. And a wee tip that one of my team ladies, Kirsten, showed me. Um, I'd never thought about it as cutting your one of your chamois into four little bits, which is a lot easier to handle, especially if you're on a live, for example, so... Has anybody got plans for tonight? Other than poor Chaz, who will be um, relaxing or trying to manage feeling not well. There's nothing worse. Look how gorgeous this goes. I do like it. Now, for the wee baskets, I am going to use... Which colour should I use? I think I'll go with... I think I'll go with a grey, a nice neutral. I think I'll do basic grey. I used this on another card. I know this stamp's quite dark sometimes, but it's it's actually all right because it's one of the neutrals, so. Right, let me pop this away then now. I love the lovely. I hope the lighting and everything's fine. Got my little, um, got my little lamp on. Right, I just need a little baby block if I can find them. Let's get okay, this one, I'll do. So, it's the larger of the two baskets. I'm going to just pull it towards me. Nothing apart from crocheting. Oh, nice. I wish I could crochet, I really do. I did try it and I was like, oh, no. Just can't do it. There you go. My mum did show me how to knit once, but it's uh, I managed that, but it's just, unless you do it all the time, it's really hard. Really hard. I know my mother-in-law, she, um, she was sitting crochet, all sorts of things. 
we're watching the television. Right, I am just going to um, fussy cut these out while we use our chatting amongst yourselves. So now, I need to clean these snips because I've been using them to cut things that I shouldn't have. And here's my youngest coming in from high school. So if you hear the dogs barking, I do apologise. Close your ears, they're going to bark, they're going to bark. And it, I'm on a live. <laughs> Sorry, he's telling them to shut up. They come in crab it from school, don't they? I'm not been long, sweetheart. Yep, last one at um, high school. Oh, and I can feel the cold air coming in with them. Go and lie down in your bed, sweetheart, because it's cold in here. No, she's like, going to lie beside me. Old Roxy girl. Of course, you can die cut these out with the dies. Um... But it's good to see if you can, you can fussy cut them out. Obviously, the, the dyes that go with it is perfect, but if you don't have the dyes and see you've only got the stamp, say it still works really, really, really good. Joanna doesn't know what she's making. Making lots of granny squares. Oh, you make me giggle. Oh, that's nice. Right, let's stamp some. All right, pal. Oh, close the door proper, sweetheart, that's it. Did you take the dog sweet, darling? Thanks, pal. Dad's over the park still. Right, I'm going to get yourself a snack. I'm going to stamp some smaller ones now. Uh, yeah, let's stamp some smaller. And I think it's good to have the medium and the, well, the medium one and the skinny one, um, two, on, two in one card. So let me just make these up. Oh, that's one of my new blocks. I, block, I bought two, I've got two sets of blocks and I can't find it in my heart to peel off the, um, are you going to make them? I'll make, I'll make them after the live for you, pal. Turn the light out, that's it. Um, I can't bring myself to peel the things off. <laughs> That'll give you a shout, pal. Close the door proper, it's freezing. He showed me what he's wanting me to make him for a wee sack. Right, I'm going to use pool party. Da, 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 da. Pool party for that one. I'm going to stamp it twice. Okay, give that a little wipe. Going with the flow is just brilliant. <laughs> Sew them together, make a small blanket for my friend's daughter. Oh. Did you know my both my dogs have um, special crocheted blankets that they got from their granny? Right, I am going to use, I think I want to use, let's do lemon lolly for the other balloons. And if you want, you can stamp it twice to get it even darker, which I think I'll try and do just now. Perfect. Yeah, I'm just going to stamp it twice. And you can stamp off as well to get a lighter version. And um, there's so many like different shades you can get from the one ink. Right, so pop that there. This one needs, oh, maybe stamped it too close. It needs a tiny basket. Again, I'll do that in grey. Oh, the cat's got one as well. Oh, I wish I wasn't allergic to cats because, to tell you what, I love Sam's cats. And if I wasn't allergic, I'd go and visit her and I'd pinch the cats off her for sure. They're just gorgeous. I was able to clap cats when I was on those uh, antihistamines long term, um, but I ran out. So I maybe should speak to my doctor because... There's various things that um, make me sneeze and itch. Cats are the worst. But while on the tablets, it doesn't. Right, what can I do? Look at this for an idea. I bet you could stamp Wish Big. I'm going to do that. I'm going to stamp Wish Big across there. Mm, brilliant. I like that little idea. Right, what colour though? I think I'll go with 
Tahitian Tide. <clears throat> I really, really wish my throat would clear. It's getting rather annoying now. Right, so where is those little off cuts? I bet this one's too fat for what I was going to use it for. Let me see now. Does this one? So you could pop that across the top of that as well. But see what I was saying? You can even stamp on it and then pop it over there. No, it's too big for what I'm doing. Right, I'll go with my initial. You could even do... Do it twice. Oh, that's nice. Watch me muck it up. Day, I guess it's spot on. That's why these blocks are brilliant. I'm only going to do, I'm, I'm only going to do one stamped on the top like that. At least I've tried it. Right, okay. What's next? I think I need a couple of pink balloons. Now I am going to opt to do two big pink balloons with a Tahitian ta Tahitian tide middle. Okay, big balloon it is. Pop it down, pick it up. Dab, dab, dab. I'm just going to make sure this fits. Yeah, it does. Fits well on this little scrap piece. Oh, I don't know what I've done there. I seem to have um, stamped it F too hard. Okay. So that one there I'm going to cut out. So I'll just, um, just ignore that one because that's scrap. And that didn't work out so well. Let me get another piece of paper. Paper, paper. I'm getting right messy, haven't I? <laughs> Such a great bundle. Oh, I know. It's just amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Okay. Gentle, gentle, Trisha. ta -da. That's better. I think I overinked it there and pressed ever so slightly too hard. Right, get that away. Let's get the middle bit. Let's go for this centerpiece, which is going to be Tahitian Tide. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, we're just going to place it on top like that. Nice. Let me try that again. Want it darker. Love it. Again, don't worry too much about getting it perfect. The Stamparatus was even better for precision stamping, but it's a retired item now, so um, there's no point in kind of sh trying to showcase something you can't buy. Unfortunately, hopefully they'll bring something else back at some point. Right, big baskets. Small block, and I'm going to stamp these in grey as well. I just I like the grey bottom. Do, 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 do. Right, I need to stand up again. There's a die cut for the little basket as well. Ta da! Love it. So beautiful. And although I feel poorly, at least my um, imagination's working today. It's when you sit down, you're like, right, I want to make something, and then you're like, oh, oh, mind boggles. Crafter's block. Brain fog kicking in. That's what's anno yeah, annoying. You love your stamp it's amazing. It's amazing. Well, I don't need to tell you that. You know, Joanna, you know, it's, it's a good one. Right. So once I've first cut these out, I will move some of the rubbish off my desk so we can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Okay. And then 
it's just a case of playing around with positioning on your little cards, etc. I'm really chuffed you joined me today. Even though it was a little surprise I appeared live. <laughs> I should maybe try and do a live um, YouTube just at random once a week. Maybe at times when I can catch our American and Australian friends. Because usually if I'm live on a Saturday morning, say at 10am, a lot of our American friends are in their bed or... Right. Now, I'm not sure if I cut that quite right. That's nice. That'll do, that'll do. What I've done on the other cards once I stamped this was I added some um, Wink of Stella. Well, this one's going to have a shorter top, but it's fine. I added um, Wink of Stella to the little stripes and it looked quite pretty. It really did. I'm quite chuffed that I'm managing to craft today. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this. Big yellow balloons. Again, if you're not confident with fussy cutting, use the dies. Um, I just don't have the room to bring my machine out just now. I thought I'll just, um, I'll just chance it with the fussy cutting. Oh, thank you. I hope you're able to get your mojo back. Do you know what I think helps is not pressuring ourselves, especially if we're actively um, selling the, the goods and things. It's um, You don't want too much pressure on yourself to be doing stuff all the time. And I think once that little mindset goes away, then the pressure's off and I think you want to craft more. It's strange how it works, but maybe everyone's different. Right, okay, so... Let's do this. Make sure they're not all sticking together. Okay. Now, I did want to put vellum on that one. All right. Yeah, I need to find my vellum. I need to find it. So, chat amongst yourselves for a wee minute. I know it is somewhere. Where, though, is the question? I have been too organised, you see. So just give me a couple of minutes, guys. Oh, brilliant. Defo. Defo. Now, another one that would go good is our online exclusive glimmer paper. It would go nice. Um, no, that's not vellum. Oh. Right. I will find it, ladies. I will find it. Uh, let me see, let me see. Oh, look. It's in my filing system in the folder that's called Bellum. Is it? for layering this up you can rough around the edges or you can tear it by hand here we go this is gorgeous vellum absolutely gorgeous 20 sheets in here takes me ages to use it right so you can see how it just changes the look the look of a card so i think what we'll do is i am going to cut this at now, what's the width of these cards? Three and a half? 
three and a half. So I'll just cut it short of three and a half for the width. And for this one here, all I'm going to do is tear off a section like so. I'm going to pop that on on the wonk. Well, that's pretty. Now you will need your trusted steed. This is the stamp and seal. My balloon's going to go positioned on the right, so that's where I'm going to pop my stamp and seal. I just think it makes it look a little bit more fun. I know we're covering up quite a bit of the paper underneath there, but it's absolutely fine. Now, I did see I had a circle somewhere. And I had a circle, was it in here? Yep, there we go. I might utilise this basic white circle. My son's going to get battered now because my car's in the drive and I've already moved out of the road. And it's a case of, I want out the car, I want out the drive. Right, I don't know if that would work. You know what, I think I'll pop that. Let me see. I don't know if I want to use that on there, actually. Right, I'm going to use this big one, and I am going to use dimensional. I think it should still manage through as a basic letter. Always check. I do have a, a an envelope um, measurer. Rur. Right, I'm just going to pop it there. I'm going to use one of these. Oh no, you know what? I'm going to move it up a bit, folks. And don't worry, it doesn't rip the vellum. She says, sticky, icky, icky. I don't mind that I make um, fluff ups like this. <gasps> Goodness, I was ready to swear there and I don't do swearing. <laughs> Forgot where I was for a minute. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's, let's stick that there. And let's do a little banner with a sentiment on it. Now I'm going, because we've got the Tahitian Tide, I am going to stamp this sentiment in Tahitian Tide. Um, now I wanted a thank you sentiment, didn't I? Uh, let's see now, I think I'll go with one out of the annual. I think I'll go with the biggest wish thanks because I think that's quite fun and I think it goes quite nice. Okay, look. Block, where are you? I put them all away, didn't I? Right, okay. Oh, that says, that says happy. That doesn't say thanks. Oh, she can't read. She can't read. So, Tahitian Tide, where are you? You can also stamp directly on your designer series paper. Hmm. I'm still swithering about this. Now, this won't fit on there perfectly. Let me see. I think it just fits in no more. Look at that. So, I will use it. I will use it, so let's use this block. It might come off ever so slightly, but let's see how it goes. A little bit, teeny bit too big, but I think it still looks nice. So what we need under here is a little something. Let's put some stamping seal on. A little something just to kind of make it pop. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab the I'm going to put this away first, actually, that. I'm going to grab this. Now, what colour do you think? Not the blue, obviously, because we're it's stamped in blue. But what about if I put some yellow behind that? 
I think the yellow would be nice, wouldn't it? Now, I think my son's put the dogs out the back and they're now barking at someone outside. <clears throat> right, so let's just wind this up ever so roughly. So I'm just going to pop that there. Okay. Then we're going to pop this over the top like so. So I'm going to use dimensionals. Mm -hmm. Are you going back out in your car, Mackenzie? Yeah. When? I just have the package in there. Alright, okay. Alright, I'm just going to pop this. Pop it here. Let's see, position it. Ta-da! Awesome. Right, we need another, another couple of gems. Oh, you've said um, yellow as well. That's good. That's good. Now, I am just going to take the edge off of my packaging. It's so much easier just taking it out from the side. We are going to stick some of the darker... Where's my pokey tool? The darker gems on and around the card. So there's that one. There is this one here, I think. And then we'll do a little baby, a little baby yellow one down here. Ta-da! I think that looks all right. Looks not bad. I think I'll make one more card and then I'll come back on another day to finish. Um, so let's see, what card base should I do next? I think, I think this one, right? And I'll show you something else that I'm going to do. So let's move these away just now. And I need some strips. So we're going to do, I'll pull that to the side. We are going to use a couple of strips on here. So let me show you. I'm just going to cut this in half. Roughly. Doesn't need to be perfect. Cut that in half. So, again, it's given a nice pop of that petal pink. is a little bit different. And where did I put my vellum that I cut? Where's the bit that I tore? Hmm. Let me get this stamp away the now. Of course, you put things next to you and then they just disappear. I think I'm going to rub myself out and draw myself back in today. I'm only kidding. I've had quite a productive day, to be honest, despite being chesty and yucky. Right, okay. If in doubt, I will just... Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. I see it, I see it. I see it. Okay, so again, I am going to simply do that, cut some off. I'm going to pop that one there. But I want to ruffle up the edges. I don't want it. It's difficult to do on vellum, by the way. So it might look like you've just torn it. As long as it's a little rough and ready, like the sides. So I'm going to pop that one there. Now, I know my panels are going to cover that. Okay. So, there we go. This one's going to be a little bit rustic looking. So, let's ruffle the sides. What's the correct terminology? I always say ruffle the edges. Rough and ready look. <laughs> I know there's a special actual technical name for doing that. I just can't remember what it is. Oh, there's husband coming back in as well. So once I do this card, that's just good timing to finish up. He's been out all day helping at the park. Right. Now, did my other card have three panels? No. Right, I'm just going to stick these down. You ready? 
Let's do this. This is great for quickness. I'm going to stick that one down there. No right or wrong way to do it. And what next? I'm just finishing off a live one card and I'll not be one card. Uh, right, what I'm going to do on... The dog's back when anybody comes in. Whether they know them or not. <laughs> Let's use two of the little... Two of the little balloons. Oh, I do like that. Right, okay, let's stick these down. See if this is great for quickness. This one I need to use um, dimensionals on. Oh, this has been quite fun. There's something sticky on this one that keeps sticking to my arm. I think it's an excess bit of glue. I'll need to remove that. Oh. Okay. Don't think I need any thread, linen thread on, um, are they both off you there? On this one, because I'm going to use one of Stella. Can you see this little die though, quickly, before I finish this card off? This actually fits over there as well. You could put that down. It's quite good. Right, um, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, Wink of Stella, folks. Wink of Stella. Where is she? Where is she? Now, I'll start with the light colour first. It does, because it's the um, water-based inks, it will lift some of the inks. So try not um, smudge it onto the white unless you're wanting that, that effect. And then we're going to go to the green, which is actually not green, it's pool party. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. I do like that. E. We could have a sentiment here. But I think I'm going to go for a straight sentiment. Now, I will use, if you give me a wee second, I will use a couple of these little balloons on this card. Or do you think that's busy enough? Yeah, I think that's busy enough. I would keep those for another card. I'll maybe use those on the thick panel one. All right, okay, let's move all this rubbish out the way. I will tidy this tidy later. Right, now, I need a piece of white. And like I see, I've always got white beside me. So, which sentiment will we use? I think I'll do just a note to lift you up because the balloons are going up. It's really nice. And I don't think I've used that side yet. I don't think. You could um, heat emboss onto this as well. Stamp and heat emboss. Or you can stamp onto vellum. But the vellum, it does take ages for the ink to dry on this. So you would need to use Versa, no, uh, what do you call it, stay on. If you're going to do that. Now, I need my bigger block. Um, what have I done with it? I don't know. Does that fit on? Oh, that fits on fine. This is what I do when I'm lazy. I will just put the bigger stamp across diagonally. Right, okay. So, colour, I think... Oh, what colour, what colour? I think I'll go with the Tahitian Tide. I'm liking that. So, dabby dab dab dab. Will this fit across here? No, I need to get a different bit. Let me use this scrap piece. Is this the same size? No, it's not. Goodness me. I've got another bit here that I can use. Okay, so we're just going to very simply stamp. Now, stamp that squint, so I'm going to turn it over and start again. <laughs> Let me stand over it so I can see it proper. Goodness me, I can hear my myself wheezing. that off. I'm not too inky, am I? Nope. Jolly good. Right, okay. We are almost finito. 
I'm not sure how long I've been live for. Now, I was wanting to use a little heart, wasn't I? And I want to just show you how cute this can be. So let's punch out somewhere that we know we're not going to use for um, fussy cutting an image out. So this is the um, Bumblebee Builder Punch. So look, there's a little heart. Could quite easily go there. You could tuck that behind your sentiment. Look how gorgeous that is. You could pop it anywhere. Anywhere you like. I'll use that in another card, so I'll put that to the side. Right, like this. let's get this cut. Use me trimmer. Oh, I've cut the wrong side, haven't I? <laughs> Never mind. It's okay. It's okay. It's all good. Just a little note to lift you up. Have I cut that squint, guys? I blew me well half, haven't I? Yes, I have. I've cut that squint. If in doubt, just take your time. Yeah, it's better. It's the sentiment that's a bit squinty McGinty. Right, it doesn't matter because we're going to ruffle it up anyway. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, right, let's see. I'm not seeing any comments. Mm -hmm. well, that's fine though. As long as you're taking some inspiration. You can add ink around the edge of this as well. You can even curl it or anything. So if you wanted to put it across your balloons and just give it a little bit of height in the middle, like a little bridge effect, that would be pretty. Right, this is the off side, so that's where the dimensionals go, Trisha. I don't think it needs any twine or anything like that because it's just gorgeous as it is. Gorgeous as it is. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Oh, I'm seeing some comments coming up now. It must just be laggy. Oh, it's an hour I've been on. Thank you, folks. I will um, go back and, and check over your comments. Right, let me put that there. And doesn't that fit nicely? It was just over the vellum a little bit. And again, I'm not going to put any gems on this one. I think it's gorgeous as it is. Ah, so, there we go. That's our two out of six cards. I thought it was going to be able to make all six cards, but no, no. Those two. Um, Just to finish up, I want to show you quickly what I'll do for the envelopes. So, all you need to do is pick a piece of paper that matches. Now, this I would probably... Not use as much on a card front because it's not as busy as I like. So I would just cut. What you need to do is measure your envelope. So these are, um, let me measure this side. These are five and one eighth. Okay, so I need to turn a bit down to five and one eighth. I've not done this in age. Don't want to put it too close. I do apologise, guys, that I can't see your, your um, comments just now. No, it was that way, wasn't it? So you just you might want to just shut your envelope. And we're just going to marry it up like so. Nope. She's popped it on slightly squint, but it's fine. That's because I'm rushing now. Line it up straight before you uh, commit to gluing it on. Or just do what I normally do and use weight glue and then there's lots of room for mistakes. So all I'm going to do is basically cut around the lip 
the flap of the envelope. Or you can just stamp on it if you want. And I see a lot of people that do handmade by, etc, etc. And that just makes it a little bit more fancier for sending it to people. Perfect. Love it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will come on and do some more cards, maybe on Sunday or what have you. Um, and like I say, sorry, I've not seen all the comments. The the one that I'm watching on has kind of... The video is gone, but the comments aren't coming up. And then when I stand up, I can see comments in this phone. So I will go back and I will um, respond to your comments. But have a nice Friday evening. Have a nice weekend. Um, and watch out on my... Smith's Crafted Creations Facebook page to see whether I'll be live at 10 o'clock tomorrow. It just depends on how my throat is going and my chest this evening. So, yeah. See you all soon and thanks again, everybody, and much love to you. Bye. She says, <laughs> when your phone is in the holder and it says to you, are you sure you want to stop streaming? Yes, because that's why I pressed end.